Hello ladies and gentlemen of YouTube, this is Magnius and welcome back to another episode of Minecraft Dinosaurs. It's been quite a while since we've been on our own world, you guys may have noticed that for three episodes we were over on Poet Plays' world, helping him out with his stuff on an online server actually, he put his world on a server for us, so that we could come and join him. Well, a lot of you guys who came over to the channel from over on Poet's channel, thank you so much for coming over. First of all, I appreciate you guys coming over. You asked me to go through all of our dinosaurs and show you what dinosaurs I have, what their names are, etc, etc. Because, in general, you guys don't know about my world and, you know, maybe you don't want to go back and watch more than a hundred episodes of us going through two different worlds. So I thought we would start off up here with our very rebellious and mischievous pterosaur, I believe that this guy's name is Perry. He sort of fell off of our little helicopter pad, I don't know. There's M for Magnius, who knows what's going on. His name is Perry, named by Darwin, Dahl, and Mia. Thank you to all of them for giving that name. However, he's sort of a jerk. In fact, when I tried to move him around using these arrows, which used to work, they apparently don't work anymore, so... GG, thanks for playing, Perry. It looks like you're gonna get trapped down there and probably die, just like your predecessor named Terry. Terry spelled P-T. Actually, let's go and check out their, uh, their, their spot, their cemetery. We have a cemetery for our dead dinosaurs as well. Uh, this used to be, what was his name, Ares, was it? Yeah, our first T-Rex, his name was Ares, named by Alfonso Crimson Death and Cassidy. But he continuously got out of this enclosure, maybe because it was too small, I don't know. But in the old version of the mod, before I updated and moved to a new world, our T-Rex stayed in its enclosure, no problem. In fact, all of them did. All of the dinosaurs stayed in their enclosures. That's our, our cow farm and our chicken farm down there, respectively. Let's run down here. We'll we'll go through some of the uh, the dinosaurs while we're making our way to the cemetery. That guy right there is the Ankylosaurus named Tank. He also got out of his enclosure. I have no idea why. This here is our Spinosaurus named Spike. God bless his soul, he's huge, and there's no way that we could ever contain him in anything. Also, he's sort of glitching out on the corner of the uh, dodo and mammoth enclosure. I don't even know what's going on with him. He hasn't moved for a long time. Originally, he broke out of his enclosure and ended up, like, destroying this hill over here. And as a result of that, I had to turn off block breaking. And then he glitched out and he hasn't moved since, as big as he is. Over here in the distance, you can see our plesiosaur Nessie. You can also see one of our two remaining Triceratops. I don't know if this is Triton or Freya. Triton or Freya. It's one of them. Don't know what happened to the other one. Oh well. So there's there's our Triceratops. There used to be a cow in here as well. Don't know what happened to it. Probably killed by the Triceratops. Over here we have our two mammoths. We have Manny and Peaches, named after, of course, the uh, Ice Age mammoths. Who knows which one is which. We also have a tiny dodo named Melons. Now we have a separate dodo enclosure over there with two other dodos, but this... This one just happened to be born in with the mammoth, so here it stays. Let's see, who who named all of these things? Mr. Wasp and Nate and William for Spike. Scott, Honey, Zach, CS... CJS Mom? Jerry, Nathan, David, Benjamin, and Seth. Thank you for naming those guys over there. If we make our way over here, we can find our portal to the nether, which we very rarely use because there's nothing too interesting in the nether. Over here we have the daughter of Charles, the red sheep in our original series. Her name is Charlotte. Also, her mother's name was Strawberry, I believe. There's Coco and Fruit Loops. Thank you to Eric and Nomivore. I love Chinese and Silent Hunter for naming our dodos. Over here is our Mosasaur named Percy. Thank you to Aiden, Tashi Girl, and Freckles. Over here we have our enclosure with a single saber cat named Scar, named by Sean, Willie, and the Esquire. This is probably my favorite enclosure. I like it. It's nice looking. Also, I think our saber cat is one of the very few creatures to have never gotten out. There's our anvil. I really need to move that somewhere. Our saber cat is one of the very few things which have never gotten out of its enclosure, so I'm very thankful to Scar for staying in his cage. Over here, I'm not sure if the, uh... If the Pachycephalosaur is still going to be alive or not, because the Pachycephalosaur tends to randomly die, which makes me really sad. I don't know why the Pachycephalosaur does not stay alive. Yep, Pachycephalosaurs die. Oh wait, nope. 
Is that it? Yeah, there it is. There's a tiny Pachycephalosaurus. So, it... Th this thing continuously dies, and it grows up like maybe one or two stages, and then it dies. I have hunger turned off, so I have no idea why it dies, or how it escapes, or anything like that. But nonetheless, its name is Amber. Thank you to Owen, Ricardo, and Ashley. Over here we have our purple compi, named Violet, named by Aaron and Biggleberry. This guy, this guy's great. He stays in his enclosure, no problem. He's a great addition to our little collection of dinosaurs. I hatched him in the desert biome because I wanted a purple one rather than a green one, which we got over here in the forest biome. Our sugar cane farm, which was much larger than it should have been just so that I could get enough books quickly enough to do our enchantment thingy. Here is the beginnings of our museum. We have a single... This, this is not... Oh gosh, it's already moving when I'm, I'm barely touching it. Trying to get this thing lined up, by the way, is probably the most annoying... There we go. That's good enough. We have a Triceratops skeleton as well as a baby one right here. Not sure how many floors this is going to have. Maybe two or three. Here's the second floor. We'll see what happens with it. We do not yet have a Brachiosaur, but we do indeed have a Dilophosaurus as well as a Velociraptor. We'll show those in a moment. You can get into these enclosures through our little home base, which this is supposed to be a, a dragon or a dinosaur head. I'm terrible at building. You guys will learn that eventually. Here we have Chomsky. He's a, a compi. He's just chilling. I also sometimes refer to them as micro raptors because the compi's the real name is hard to say. So that's Chomsky. And here we have a Dilophosaur, which Dilophosaur this guy hatched, and we have not yet named it actually. So all of you who are new to the channel, this is your chance. You get to tell me what you would like to name this Dilophosaur. He's right in there. Hopefully this guy, unlike Thor, will continue to remain in his enclosure. Over here, if we run across our path, there is our giant Bartholomew. Oh, well, Bartholomew is the name of the original one from our old map, and I miss him much. This guy's name is not Bartholomew. His name is actually Galileo, and we decided to name him on our live stream, actually, back when we live streamed on Twitch on a regular basis. Here in this enclosure, this is Tank's old enclosure, so you can see his sign right here for his name. I've moved Thor over here. This is probably Thor the, like, 20th by this point. Continuously, he dies. I get his meat, and then I have to recreate him as a clone because Thor refuses to stay in his enclosure ever. It's apparently going to turn nighttime, so before it turns too dark, and we are no longer able to move around without creepers destroying everything, how about we go to sleep? And then we'll make our way over to the cemetery, we'll pay our respects to the dead dinosaurs, and then we will move over to our mine because I need some more cobblestone. Actually, ah yes, this guy. This guy's name is Oreo, I think. Er, yeah, and additionally we also have a cow that's named over here somewhere. But yeah, here's our cow, Milky Way. Thank you very much, a little ace, William, and Plasma Ghost. I think that's I think that's the end of all of our named things. This guy Oreo. I think that's it. Uh do we have ah there's some stone. That's good. Do we have any other stone dad all oh, no, we don't. Uh do we have any more cobblestone? We do not have any more cobblestone. Alright, so clearly we do need to go and mine some cobblestone. Also be looking for some more fossils and diamonds and other such things when we do that as well. Phew, sneaky, sleepy time. All right, so it's morning. Let's go over and ah, get get out. There we go. I used to have a problem with skeletons and zombies and all sorts of wonderful things in my home. Luckily, with an iron door, that is no longer a problem. I don't know what's up with the Galileo always freaking out in this tiny enclosure. Admittedly, it is sort of small, but keeping it in the ground was the only way that I could find to actually keep him in his enclosure. So. So many chickens. That's how we get the vast majority of our experience, by the way. Killing and feeding and breeding our animals. Let's see, over here somewhere... There it is. There's a cemetery. Over here you can find... Rest in peace, Ares, QQ, Sadness, Sad Face, and Crying Face for Sobek. This was our original Spinosaurus as well. And Terry, our original Pterosaur, sad, sad. 
Ares, Ares, I miss you so much. Pterosaurs, man, they, they never stay where they're supposed to stay, I don't know. So now that... Oh, and this is this is our little pine forest. Or spruce forest, yeah, not pine. I've been, I've been playing a little bit too much life in the woods. Pine is an awesome kind of tree over there. This is not life in the woods. This is Minecraft dinosaurs, so we have to remember that that is spruce. I'm going to look for my fortune pick. I don't remember exactly where I put it. It's definitely not on me right now. But I need to find my fortune pick, and maybe in here. Yes. Here we go. Fortune 2. So I'm going to take that. We are going to go back up to our mine. I can't remember exactly where it is. We're using Ray's minimap, by the way, in case you guys were, were curious. Just 160 meters over that way, and we're going to go mining for some more fossils as well as more diamonds. But predominantly, we need more stone. Uh, this We should probably drop off a lot of our crap, because we need a lot more stone for us to be able to make the rest of our tower. Should have a chest right here. There we go. Didn't mean to do that. There we go. I don't need that. And sure. That's good. So I will continue to mine off camera after we're done with this episode. But just to be safe, go ahead and empty out a lot of our stuff so we have plenty of room. Hopefully we find some iron too. I, I think, I can't remember how much iron. We may have a lot in our chest back home. But regardless, today, unfortunately, due to the fact that we did a tour and I also have some SpaceX stuff to talk about, we're not going to be talking about any dinosaur news today. But you guys will be able to name a Dilophosaur. So hopefully that will be enough for you on the dinosaur front. We do have some stuff to talk about for SpaceX. As you guys may know who have been here for quite a while, we talk about space an awful lot on our channel, including during our dinosaur videos. Just because I don't really know what else to talk about, because I love space, and there's more space news than there is dinosaur news. And jump. Come on, jump. And we're good. So, in terms of SpaceX news, as you guys saw not too long ago, maybe like a week or two ago, there was a... Uh, is this safe? How far did we go with this, really? There was some news. The new Dragon 2 capsule, which is going to be the manned version of the Dragon capsule, which has been used so far for cargo going to the International Space Station. The manned version, Dragon 2, has been completed, and they have a working prototype, which they're going to be using for abort tests off of a pad. An abort test, for those of you who don't know, is a test where they basically use the thrusters on the capsule to very, very quickly escape from the pad. This sort of thing would be used... Yeah, I'm pretty sure there's lava there, that's why we moved over. This sort of thing would be used in the event of the rocket exploding while it's trying to get into space, and it's supposed to get the crew away from the shuttle the shuttle oh my gosh i can't believe i said that the rocket faster than the explosion is going so basically in what was it 10 or 100 milliseconds is the amount of time between something going wrong in the rocket and the abort which should happen automatically so hopefully we will keep everyone pretty safe once we start sending humans to the international space station and low earth orbit using the dragon 2 capsule Additionally, the flight, the Orbcom flight, which is a satellite flight of the Falcon 9 rocket, this was a room where we found a lot of diamonds. That has been delayed once again from June 12th. It was supposed to happen in the first week of May, but there was a major issue with a valve on, like, the inside of the Falcon 9 rocket, so they had to basically take it apart all over again. But there was an issue which got it delayed to June 12th, and it is once again delayed to June 15th, I believe. So that's going to be in approximately five more days. I don't I don't know what to do about that. I've been waiting for this for like two months now. Actually, much longer than that. When was the last launch? I think it was like in November of last year or something like that. It was, it was pretty terrible. So, I don't know. I'm not ready. I'm just... It hurts my soul to wait this long. But that's okay, because it's coming up soon, it'll happen eventually. I can't remember how many episodes of Minecraft Dinosaurs we've talked about this darn flight delay, but... Oh well. 
do do Boop. Some stuff about the channel. I have contacted some other YouTubers who are approximately my size and growing. Because I would like to do some more collabs with some other peoples. Unfortunately, due to time zones, I am unable to do collabs very often with people like Poet Plays and other people who are in the, uh, the Time Shot server. Also, a lot of them do lots and lots of Minecraft stuff, which is awesome, but I also need to branch out and do other games as well, as you guys know. I've been talking about that recently. So maybe in the near future I will be doing a collaboration on the game Project Zomboid. I checked that out. Seems like a cool game. It's a crafting survival zombie game for those of you who like those such games. Crafting survival I know you like because you like Minecraft and you also checked out our Don't Starve series back in the day. Is this fossil stuff? Yes, yes it is. Unfortunately there were no bio fossils. Oh well. Zombie games? I don't know if you guys like zombie games. You guys really seemed to like Slender back when I played it back in the day. But unfortunately, a lot of the times when I when I play a new game, the number of views that our first episode gets is actually smaller than our videos used to get back in the old days. Like I I hear lava. We used to get how many how many views did we used to get on things like Megawalt? We used to get like 1.5 to 2,000 views. These days. Maybe like 800 or 900, and admittedly that started happening after I took a- oh, no, no. After I took a two-week vacation, because I had to go on vacation and I was really stressed out about YouTube and my real life and all sorts of other stuff. So I took a vacation, I took a two-week vacation. Apparently a lot of our viewers didn't like that, because from that moment forward they decided that they were no longer going to watch a lot of our- a lot of our series, other than, of course, Minecraft Dinosaurs, which is, as always, very popular, but you guys, I uh, keep telling you, we need to branch out into other things than Minecraft Dinosaurs. There's no way that we can continue to grow using only one series. One of my, my new friends that I made, Mr. Splattercat, he's grown, not as a result of a single series which got 940,000 views on the first episode, but several series which got about 50k each. And he's growing much faster than I am, and he's certainly doing a lot better in terms of continued sustainable growth. Which makes me sad. So I don't know. I don't know, guys. I, I love that our channel grew as fast as it did. I love that after four months only of YouTube, I was able to basically quit my full-time job and do this as my full-time thing. But I think I would have preferred to, to do it for like a year and a half con consistently had another job as well, and now, here at the, about the year and a half point, now be able to do it full time and have continued progressive growth as opposed to, you know, our views bottoming out. But I mean, that's, that's what happens when you get famous off of a single series, I guess. It makes me sad. I didn't bring any wood. This is, in retrospect, a pretty terrible idea. I think I can just run outside and grab... Grab some wood from a nearby tree. There's plenty of wood here in this forest. But yeah, in retrospect, maybe it would have been a better idea if I, uh, I just hadn't done Minecraft Dinosaurs and done other series instead. It would have been interesting. I don't know. Who knows? Makes me sad. We'll see, though. We'll see. Summer is coming. Views are up a little bit compared to the past months. Why? Why did that happen? I'm so confused. We'll use this guy right here for his wood. Also, in terms of Minecraft dinosaurs, I do now have a copy of the mod version 1.6.3, I think? 1.6.3, given to me by Poet Plays. Technically, it's not a public version yet. It has all sorts of things like moving dinosaur faces and moving dinosaur heads and stuff like that. But, uh... I don't really know if we should switch over to it just yet. Technically, I should ask the developers... Well, I shouldn't ask, I should just be like, Yo, I'm gonna use it for that. That cool? Yeah? Because they're, they're probably gonna be okay with it, but... Nonetheless, da. I should probably send them an email and just let them know that it has been given to me, and as a result of that... 
I will be doing that from now on. We'll see. Alright, we're good. I don't necessarily like using stone, but eh, when it's the only thing you have available, I don't I don't really wanna until I find some coal, I'm not gonna set up like a Oh, hello. I'm not gonna set up something like a furnace. So how about how about when we find coal? Other things to talk about. Ooh, hello. Uh, I don't really want to use a diamond pickaxe on that, so I'm just going to leave that there. Technically, we could get some more Sabercat DNA or Mammoth DNA, but I think we may already have some more Sabercat or Mammoth DNA. I don't want to use my fortune pick. You know how it is. Actually, I wonder if the fortune pick will work on... The answer is no, it does not. Alright, so moving on. Uh, what was I saying? I was- I was just saying something. Uh... Hello, Iron. Oh, in terms of things that are happening in my life, the Korean Social Integration Program, you guys may remember very, very early on when I was talking in our series, our Minecraft Dinosaur series, I was talking about the Social Integration Program, and I've- I've mentioned it before in a few of my videos because I've been doing it for, gosh, like a year now? I think the entire time I've been a YouTuber, I've been doing the Social Integration Program. The fifth level of the program, Social Integration Program Level 5, has finally started. It started on Monday. I'm currently enrolled and taking classes. And again, just like before, when I talked about it before, it's an everyday class. Every single day, 10 to 12, I have to wake up and be awake in the early morning, I usually wake up at like 2 or 3 p.m. Because, you know, YouTube. <laughs> and then I have to basically sit in a classroom full of students who, admittedly, like one or two of them, I've noticed they actually do speak Korean. But the rest of them, they, they don't speak Korean. They understand Korean maybe even better than me, actually. Which is really interesting that they learn so many vocabulary words and they can understand. But they can't talk at all. Really makes me question how in the world they studied Korean. I studied Korean. Because, you know, I live here, and when I lived here, I was like, eh, hey, I'm just going to talk to my friends every day. That'll be fine. But everyone else apparently studied Korean by, like, listening to people. <laughs> I don't. It's really strange, to say the least. Don't. I don't want to use up my fortune pick on this stuff. I need iron. Well, technically, I need coal at this point, but... Oh well. Either way. Uh, social integration program. And once again, um, you guys may remember the last time we had lots of young... Well, not, not young. They're like in their early 30s, I guess I should say. A lot of uh, basically Southeast Asian women who have moved to Korea and have married Korean men, which is totally awesome. And I think that more people should do that because Korea needs to be more diverse and less Korean as it is. But... um. The problem is that because they have young children, that's that's why they're allowed to take the online course. I'm taking the online course because I live in the middle of freaking nowhere. Technically, I live on the outskirts of Seoul. So, I, I live far enough away from the other in-person courses that I can take the online course. They, on the other hand, oh no. They have children, so they have to stay home and take care of their children all day. Because in Korea, being a stay-at-home mom is a... Like a socially acceptable thing. Whereas in the United States, you're not really allowed to stay at home and take care of your children past maybe like the first six months to a year, maybe. I mean, I think maternity leave for most jobs in the United States is like a month at most. And after that, your job expects you to either come back to work or you're fired. So, you know, people, they get nannies, they get babysitters, they use like... Uh, milk pumps so that they can give their children their own breast milk despite the fact that they're staying at work stuff like that That stuff doesn't happen in Korea. Um, it's really normal for people to just quit working and Stay home with their children here in Korea for maybe like even two years three years possibly even longer I mean my students mothers have been stay-at-home parents for like 12 years and stuff like that It's a little bit much for me to to handle personally so 
nothing against stay-at-home moms. It's just that since I grew up in the United States, they don't exist, basically. But, um... So as a result of that, basically, half of the students have babies in their laps during our classes, which is cool. Except it's sort of hard to, you know, do class when you have screaming babies yelling into the microphone. The fact that half of them can't even use webcams and they've never used like an online course sort of program before so their microphone's terrible and it's just generally a terrible situation. I don't even know what to do about it. How far does this go? Oh, that that is my answer right there. That That is it for us. I guess technically I could dig up and around, but I, I really just... Do I have any coal? I've not yet found any coal. This is ridiculous. I need to find coal, or I'm gonna like run out of the ability to make torches. Today, I feel like making a longer episode today, because you know it's been so long since we've had a Minecraft Dinosaurs episode. Admittedly, we're not doing anything with our dinosaurs at the moment other than collecting a lot of delicious fossils. I guess, I guess we can go this way. We haven't really gone this way yet. Let's do that. I need to get a secondary diamond pickaxe and then enchant it with efficiency and unbreaking. That's what I need. That's, that's going to be one of my new goals. I'm going to get 30 levels by doing the whole cow and chicken thing. And then I'm going to get an awesome, amazing pickaxe. I hate gravel pits. Why do you do this to me, game? I never did anything to deserve this. At least I got a ton of cobblestone, though. We're definitely going to be able to build our, our tower, no problem, our museum. Seriously, why don't you give me any coal, guys? I'm running out of torches. This is going to turn into a major problem. Uh. Oh well. So guys, I know that you guys, for example, um, there are about 2,200 people, I guess, who watch our Minecraft Dinosaur series and who don't watch our... Time Shot series. What do you guys think of Time Shot? For those of you who are still around 27 minutes into the video, that means that you guys are basically our, our, our true fans, you know what I mean? So, how, how do you guys feel about Time Shot? Why, why do so many of you not watch Time Shot? I'm very curious because Time Shot being a YouTuber server, you know, there are people like Poet Plays and Two Girls with Minecraft and Fabe and other people like that on there. You know, generally, ah, oh, finally Cole, thank you, Lord. Generally, it's a really awesome series, I think. I think that you guys get to see some other cool YouTubers. You get to see the things that they build, because generally, I suck at building. But you guys get to check out their builds, and we get to do lots of adventuring. Exploring, more like exploring, not really adventuring. So I think that Time Shot is a cool series, but due to the lack of people, I think Time Shot is even less popular than our Mega Balls games. So considering that... How do you guys feel about Time Shot? If you guys could enlighten me as to a reason why you uh, you don't watch it as much, that would be really awesome. I would like that. I would like to know. You know, if if you guys are up for it, if you guys could be so kind as to enlighten me. Some more iron. Not bad. Not bad. No diamonds yet. I'm sort of surprised. Oh well. Either way, just let me uh, just let me know, guys, about Time Shot and various other series. I know that you suggested some games for us to play, and we're looking into those. As you guys know, I did get Rust, and I may actually play Rust with uh, with another person as well. We're seeing about that. We're seeing. But either way, that's about all the time that I have to record for today. Thank you so much, everyone, for watching. My name is Magnius, and I will see you next time.